As you can see, there's lots of bumps on it, that's the end of the pop map. Um, and that's pretty much it for now. Uh, that's all we need to do there. And if it doesn't show up properly, <coughs> geez, sorry, if it doesn't show up properly, you're going to right click, make sure it's on texture. Uh, you can also do a couple of stuff. This is just going to change the color, uh, flat shaded, wireframe, you know, all of that. Anyways, uh, there it is. And it should be brighter in game, uh, hopefully. Well, something's wrong. But, uh, anyways, now we're going to make sure this is selected for our joints. Go uh, to knife underscore handle, select it, and hit assign. Now, if you hit select assign, when this pops up, you're all good. That's what you needed to do. And now we have a file. Sorry, wait. Uh, I'm just going to go to my materials and assign and rename them to Alright, so there we go. Uh, so now we're going to go to File. Um, we are going to go Export, Halfway to SMB, and overwrite the knife underscore change for reference. Hit save. Yes. With vertex width. Okay. Now if we import another Half Life to SMB, let's say like draw. What it should do, if we did it correctly, is it should uh, be in the player's hand. And if it's not, then you did something wrong and go back and watch some of the other parts of this. Um, that is it right there. And as you can see, pops up under his hand. And so we're all good. So we got this. Now, you usually want to save it as an MS3D um, and overwrite your reference. But because I'm not going to be adding this anymore, you know. So, uh, I'm going to check my time in. Uh, the next part of this is to edit our QC file. So, we're going to go to the QC file. We're going to go to this QC file right here. And if it asks you what to open with, we're going to open it with Notepad. And so, here it is. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to edit where we're going to put the texture. So the CD materials right here, V models and we're going to change that to pipe. So that's where we're going to put the texture. Um, and the VMT file we didn't name, that underscore T, we named it to pipe. So there you go, that's all I need to edit here. Except for one more thing, you'll edit, replace. Um, actually, wait a minute. Never mind, we're not going to do that um, because I think what we did before with do not fix rotations uh, makes it you don't need to do this. Um, actually, no, yeah, I think you still need to hit edit, replace, and replace FPS with snap, snap, uh, snap, rotate negative 90 FPS. Replace all. Alright. Now we file, save, and then we're ready to compile. So we are going, oh sorry, that's wrong. Uh, first, we have to go back to our UV and copy the uh, VTFs and VMT that we made. So we copy, minimize. Then we are going to make that folder we said we were going to make uh, for it. So we're going to to our program files, uh, Steam, Steam apps, username, contract source, C strike, materials, models, weapons, V models, and we're going to create a new folder which I've already made. I'm going to pay no attention to this guy. Okay. So once you've made all those folders, and if they're not there, say, do them as I say, make them as I say, them, sorry. And once you have everything copied, the uh, BTS and BMTs case in here, and that's all I need to do for that. And we are now ready to compile. So we're going to go to our GUI Studio MDL, run, and you have to set your path. So you go config, set F1 tools path, and you just go SDK, bin1, F1, uh, bin, which is in your counter, sorry, you go to uh, your computer. 
We drive Steam uh, program files, Steam, Steam apps, username, source SDK, bin, import, bin. And that's how you do it. I already have my set file, or QC file. And we're going to load um, the uh, decompiler, QC file that we edited, and it compile. Here you need to make sure there aren't any uh, errors that pop up. Uh, once it has completed, you can just scroll up, and if anything has error that you can see, then you need to edit something. But as I can, from what I can see, there's, there's no errors there. So that is it. The model should be completely finished by now, and uh, that's all you needed to really know. A uh, quick trick to learn if it's actually working is to go to your source SDK. Um, and this is what I use before I go in game because it allows me to see uh, sitting right in the person's hand whether it's uh, you know doing everything right I'm going to do it just to make sure I didn't explain anything wrong to you guys um, you know your model viewer file load model you go weapons manage one knife and uh, yep okay that's there There is some major clipping, but um, that's fine. As you can see, the texture is not really showing up. Um, not really sure why. So uh, I'm going to try and fix that. Um, you know, my milk shape. Uh, uh, this is why it's good to have that. Um, anyway, let's just open up this again. There's something wrong with the materials in this. Uh, uh, I'm just going to load the BMP instead then. And now I'm going to go here. And. Um. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to recompile and see if that works. All right. So that should have fixed it. Um, if your VTO doesn't work, just do the same thing as that, and I'll uh, throw in an in game for you guys. And that's all I need to know. So uh, thanks guys for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, have fun with it.